Good morning, my friends. It's Wednesday, May 8th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. This is a painting by Tadio Sukari from 1555. It is called The Conversion of St. Paul. We know from the Book of Acts that Paul was on his way to the city of Damascus and that he was persecuting Christians or what they called the people of the way back then. And Paul was literally knocked to the ground by a blinding light. In fact, he goes blind. But I believe what this painting is depicting is what was happening within the light. This is Jesus descending and reaching out. We don't see Paul, but reaching out to touch him. And that was what happened. Somehow, Paul was touched by the risen Christ. And that moment was life-changing. Everything changed for him in that moment. Everything. The center of his universe became Christ. At that moment, it took him years to understand what had happened and to become the man who would be the teacher and leader. But the moment itself was Pivotal. It changed Paul's very being and certainly his purpose. Even a drop of divine presence can alter us forever. It's as if you put um, a little drop of juice into a glass of water and it colors the whole water. The divine presence is so potent, uh, so life-changing that it does change us. This morning we begin to read Paul's letter to the church in Ephesus, which is one of the biggest and most pivotal letters in the New Testament. In fact, scholars now believe it was what we would call a circular letter, that this letter was written for the Christians in Ephesus, but it was circulated among many churches because it was so redemptive and grounding. And Paul says that Christ has come in the fullness of his grace to begin a process in which we're all going to be gathered up into him. We are all going to be gathered up into Christ. It's this wonderful metaphor of Christ reaching out his arms and just gathering us in. There's a Celtic Eucharist that begins with the words, gather us in the, the lost and the lonely, the broken and bereaved, gather us in. Christ wants to bring us all to himself, just like he brought Paul. And all we have to do is listen, just in the eloquent silence, even in the midst of your troubled mind, even just one little sliver of divine presence can make you so hungry for more and change you forever. And so Paul was altered on the road to Damascus and he would go to the church in Ephesus at first for three months. And then on his second visit, evidently he stayed for three years. So he must've really loved these people. And when he's on his way to Rome, some of the elders from the Church of Ephesus come to visit him. So it seems like it's a very foundational group of Christians, rooted, good, gathered in. Be gathered in today into the arms of Christ. Let us pray. Gather us in as you gathered St. Paul. Gather us in from the corners of our despair or lostness or sickness or illness. Gather us in, Lord Christ, into your arms. We pray today for the people that are on our hearts. I will pause and let you speak their names aloud.
We thank you, Lord, for your loving arms that reach out to touch us every day. May we encounter you today. We ask for peace for this world. We ask for an end to violence and injustice and war. We give you thanks for the gift of our lives, for friendship, for food, and for the beauty of this natural world. Open our eyes to see its value and to cherish it and nourish it. All this we pray in the name of Jesus, your son, who comes to all of us to bring us home. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.